All right. Hello and welcome. So this is the TOF 432 um, deck review for the one of my favorite decks, the Gilded Tarot. Uh, the Gilded Tarot's been it, it was one of the first decks I picked up, and it's one of my favorites. It's one of the ones that I really recommend for people who are looking at getting into learning tarot because the themes in it are so close to the original tarot. When I say original tarot, some of the tarots are looked at as being a little more traditional as like the Rider Waite tarot, this one here, for instance. The Rider Waite tarot is like the baseline representation for what the, you can expect from the tarot. Most other decks have come from mainly that source. So now, as you start to read more and more, the deck that you choose will color the messages that you give because you'll start to each deck has a different theme and feel each card uses different images to represent so with the gilded tarot the reason it's one of my favorites is that although it holds to the traditional tarot it has a lot of very specific imagery that changes the changes the messaging and hones it in in a different way if you will one of my favorite parts about this deck overall is the coloring this is the hangman card for instance and the way that the colors are used everything is bright and the contrast the way that the colors are used against one another makes things pop in them it's aesthetically very very pleasing so it's it goes a long way because it makes things pop out of the cards. It makes you realize or recognize certain things in the cards that you may not have picked up on. When I drop a full reading when I'm doing the cards, I'll just give a quick eye overview and see what stands out to me. That's usually the messages where I'm started, what I want to hone in and focus on more. So now, <laughs> The Gilded Tarot has recently come out with a brand new updated version of its deck. Um, let me just. So this is the Fool card from the Gilded Tarot Royale. The Gilded Tarot Royale is almost a carbon copy of the original deck, except he has it has been made in a way that the coloring the detail the depth of each card has been upped significantly i don't have a physical copy of this deck but as of this point but um with all the imagery that i've seen online i've been using it exclusively more or less for my uh daily readings on the page and each card is just different and unique in an amazing way the toast tarot did much the same thing when they uh, someone released the millennium version of the, the toth deck this deck stays in line with the original message of the gilded tarot but at the exact same time he it's been made much better in my estimation i would highly recommend the royale over the regular deck but that's just me if you are just beginning and starting out in tarot the Gilded Tarot has a actually a pretty cool package. I don't think I have the box sitting right here. Basically, it's called the Easy Tarot is the name of it. And there's a poster size thing that comes. You get the Celtic cross and that type of thing. But the book that comes with it is quite in depth. I'm not exactly sure if it's the same book you would get if you just bought the deck itself. But the book is absolutely amazing. It's um Really, really good if you're learning. It's a nice big size book. It's easy to find the stuff to move through to find the meanings and then <clears throat> and to work through a spread without losing your focus too much by jumping back to that book. Um, all of the themes that you're going to learn if you're learning with the Gilded Tarot, if it's a brand new deck to you, if it's a brand new method of interpreting things the tarot overall the gilded tarot is one i highly recommend because of like i said that ability to stay in line the way that everything is still in line with the original tarot yet 
specifics have been changed, if you will, because of the specific imagery. So you pick up different messages and a broader set of messages due to the coloring of the deck, due to the way the deck presents. Um, every deck is like that. Every deck, of course, is going to give you different messages because every deck is different and unique. But the Gilded um, is one of my favorite for that reason, that it's it's it stays in line, but the way that it, it shifts the messages is absolutely amazing. It's this size deck, anyway. I think all of the decks are exactly the same size. It's a nice size for your hand. It's easy to shuffle. I've used and used and used this deck um, for quite some time now. The edges of the cards are not yet frayed, I find. It, it just has the regular edge. A lot of them have the decorative edge. And my, this is a deck with the decorative, what I'm talking about, the decorative edge. So it's got that shimmering side to it. What I don't like about the decorative decks is that when you start shuffling them, it seems to be weaker on the edges. These cards are absolutely perfect, each one around the ridges still. And I've shuffled them, like I said, <laughs> for hours. The other decks you do that, <clears throat> they start to fray and round the for instance, this has the same finish as the last deck I showed you, and it's uh, it's actually getting difficult to shuffle at this point because they start to fatten and widen up on the edges of the card. So it's a quality card. The sizing is extremely nice. It, it, when you do a spread, it's not too overbearing on the table. I have the tote deck, that the original, which is huge, and you do a spread, and it's half a table. It's easy to transport to keep because of the size and it's easy to find a space to do your spreads because of that size. So it's one deck that, I, as I said, I cannot recommend this deck enough. If you're just getting into tarot, check out the Easy Tarot, the Gilded Tarot Easy. It's called the Easy Tarot. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the straight name for it. I'll put a link to an Amazon page, which would have that that deck in it if you're interested. Um, but yeah, just a gorgeous deck. I can't recommend it enough. Every card, every single card, um, and especially with the new one, has been updated, colored. The Royal, it, it, it takes it one step beyond. As I say, this is definitely one of my favorite decks. I cannot cannot recommend it enough so that is what i have to say pretty much about the gilded tarot it if you're learning one of the best decks that you can pick up um if you're adding a deck to your repertoire because you've been reading for quite some time you'll walk right into this deck with no problem the themes are easy to understand and pick up from the other decks as well as some of the things, some of the imagery, the way it is presented will, will guide you in a different way. So it's it's a deck that, as I said, if you don't have the Gilded Tarot, it is one that I highly recommend you bring in because it is an absolutely amazing deck for when it comes to reading. It's one of the ones I use the most between this one. Cyril Machete has a few different decks, the Tarot of Dreams as well. I'll be doing another um a review for that deck it's a little more advanced but at the same time it, it's still he does the exact same thing where he holds that theme straight through it's just colored a little different accented a little different if you will so if you're interested in getting into tarot this would be the deck i would buy personally to start out with the gilded tarot nice small deck i'd go to the extra the gilded tarot royal as i said is absolutely gorgeous um i'm kind of going through some of the cards of the major arcana on the top here temperance the devil card the tower the star which is aquarius moon and the sun and judgment absolutely amazing the way he uses color the way he uses the shadowing the way he uses every aspect of it um 
the refraction of light, like in the bottom of the trumpet. All of these things, when you're doing a reading, will stand out. But anyway, that is my take on the Gilded Tarot. As I said, I would give it five stars. Hands down, it, it, if you enjoy tarot, this is a deck that you should have in your kit, definitely. It is one of my favorite decks. Whether you're learning or whether you're a veteran reader, it is absolutely amazing. So I can't recommend it enough. Please, if you enjoy the content, I'm going to be doing more deck reviews. Subscribe to the channel. Share the, the review on Facebook if you don't mind. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.